Mick Mulvaney is here, director of the Office of Management and Budget, among other things in the Trump administration. Also a News Nation contributor. It's good to see you. You can't argue with folks when they tell you the deck stacked against them. No, you can't. It's, it's become more difficult over the last couple of generations. The Kennedy quote was, 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 was fascinating to watch because I've always thought that it, in America it wasn't the difference between you and the rich people. Okay? As long as you were moving up, you were okay and didn't care if the difference was here or here. But if you started moving down, it didn't make any difference what the rich people were doing. So uh, I, I think people care about themselves. Bill Clinton was right. It is the economy, stupid, and it's your economy. It's, uh, how, you, it's how you personally feel. And this is when you talk about politicians. History shows that when politicians are able to exploit anger in a, po in a population, a feeling of unfairness, yeah. a, a grievance, once you light that fuse, you really don't know where it's going to end, whether it comes from the left or the right. It's really, it's really hard to put the genie back in the bottle. There's no question. I talked to an Irish friend of mine one time. He said the difference between the Americans and the Europeans is that the, the middle-class Americans used to drive past the big fancy house and say, someday that's going to be me or my kids. And the Europeans drive by, by the house and say, I'm going to get that guy. Uh, and we're turning into that, that European sort of mentality. And that is, that's disturbing. Yeah, Gallup poll trust in institutions. And some would say the institutions have lost yeah. trust sort of by their own, by their own. Uh, action. Small business is still at 65 percent. The medical system now down to 34 percent. The presidency, 26 percent. Congress at 8 uh, percent. And we should note how happy we are for Congress because the media is at 11 percent. So it gives us somebody to punch down on. But again, this sort of goes with the idea if you feel like the deck is stacked against you, you feel like all these institutions are out to get you. They, they do. Now, that being said, there's a lot of folks who want to try and undermine the, the faith in institutions. I mean, the people don't believe in the church the way they used to. They don't believe in universities the way they right. used to. They don't believe in government the way they used to. And that serves certain sort of political agendas. But again, it's dangerous, right? It, 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 you have to believe in something or else you believe in anything. And that's, that's, that seems to be the way we're going. And it's not sustainable. It, it really isn't. You've got to get to the point where folks... What, wor what worries me more, and you and I talked about this before the show, is not that it's the, not the disparity between the rich and the poor. It's that lack of social mobility. It's that impression, and you hit on it in your introduction, that the rich now are always going to be rich and the poor are always going to be poor. Right. That's not American. You, we have to be able to have people buy into that concept that if, 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 even if you can't move up, your kids can, and we're losing that. Yeah, uh, uh, three-quarters of Americans, 77%, say the economic system in the country unfairly favors powerful interests. 23% say the economic system is generally fair to most Americans. And what I think about is even populist Republicans who are supposed to be sort of even on the side of the little guy and profess to be that, when it comes to eliminating something like the carry and interest deduction, they, they clam up it and, and run into their offices. That There really is nobody actually fighting quote unquote, for the little guy on either side. Yeah, keep in mind that we couldn't get rid of it. We could not get rid of carried interest when we controlled the, the White House, the House, and the Senate. And the Democrats haven't been able to get rid of it either when they controlled the White House, the House, and the Senate. So there's all so, sorts it's, of Yeah, lo lo loophole for the very, very rich, yeah. and it just doesn't get, get, get taken care of. All right, what's the best case scenario if you want to leave us with a little hope? Education. Uh, we've moved into the into sort of this this uh, intelligence economy. The people who are getting really really rich are really really smart people. It used to be you could make a good living in this country, working in a factory. You didn't have to have a high level of education, but you could you could you could take care of your family for a variety of reasons. Education has really gone downhill. I mean, look, two thirds of the country does can't identify who who we want our independence from, but. Everybody seems to be learning in school now that men can supposedly have babies. I mean, that, 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 that's a decline in our education system. Um, and, and that's where it all starts and it's where it finishes as well. Let me turn that around, though. One of the groups that lost the most faith, actually, was our education system. Public universities went crashing down, uh, I think, from the mid-50s now down to the, the 30s or so. I have to kind of double-check the numbers. But is the answer actually the opposite? Is the answer to stop telling people in order to get ahead, you've got to get a four-year degree where you're going to have all these huge student loans and saying to people, go to trade, you can go to trade school, you can still make well over $100,000 a year, you still have huge opportunities, 
And the the liberal idea of, hey, the, the answer is college and university may not work anymore. No, it, it's a fair point. We actually worked on that a little bit during the Trump administration. Yeah. We tried to encourage people, look, college is not for everybody. By the way, one of the difficulties with college is it's way too expensive. One of the things that's keeping people in the in the lower class, in the, in the middle class, preventing them from sort of getting up, you know, a leg up, is that college is so expensive. You can pay $200,000 for a degree that's probably worth a job that pays $40,000 a year. That's a breakdown in the system. That's an institutional failing. You're right. Trade schools, I mean, look, you drive a truck, you can make $100,000 a year. That's pretty good money. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.